Nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning, and Shane Williams is looking forward to tucking into a hearty breakfast, but not quite yet. Two bus. Upstairs. No, where? Alright. Alright, bus. Alright. Yeah, no worries. Before doing anything, Shane has to check in with the Wales Camp medical staff just to make sure that everything is in perfect working order. This is monitoring how we're feeling, uh, weight, uh, your energy, if you're a good sleep, if you're in a bad mood, good mood. Basically, the doctors or the physios have a look at this. So if you've got any needles or any problems, um, they work off this and then they come and see you and put you out of training or... Every day then? Or? Yeah. Every day, so there's no hiding these days. Examination over, at last, time for breakfast. But this is no greasy spoon. It's a problem these days, it's uh, all the fun food's gone really. It's all healthy, fitness food. It used to be mine, we used to have beans and sausage and uh, egg, bacon. Good, good fitness uh, dietitian now, me, so that's all out the window. Like. Well, this morning, the change of the schedule, really, which is a blessing. We've, um, we've got weights, a little bit of condi strength and conditioning now, and then rugby, and then we've got this afternoon off. I think it, tomorrow's going to be tough. I think the training intensifies tomorrow. Uh, probably a bit of contact. Uh, I have to smash a few of the big lads, like, and then... Uh, just prepare then for that for next week, obviously. You're gonna miss it. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be gutted when uh, uh, when the day comes when I'm not doing this. To be honest with you, it's it is something I've been doing for a while now. Obviously, 2000 started playing for Wales. Uh, pretty much, apart from the odd uh, the odd season, really, I've it, it has been a part of my life for you know uh, for the last 10 years. So I'll be devastated when I've actually got to hang my boots up and, and not do this again. Because uh, you know it was a part of me, to be honest. With you. But uh, you know, I've done that, I've done that walk up there a couple of times, to be honest. With you, and uh, yeah, it'll be yeah a little little bit sad when I've uh, when I'm not doing it any longer. But uh, that's how things go, really. You got uh, you can't play forever, I don't suppose. In the same way, you can't live forever, I suppose. Exactly the. The Georgie boy here as well, you know. What, <laughs> what can I say? He's nipping on my heels here as well, like, you know. Say something in the camera, man. Good Matthew, Matthew Rees. Are, uh, are we straight in? Huh? Scooty. Hello. Camera for you, bud. Say something, bud. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, but it really. Straight to the gym now. Uh, oh, I'll take it. We did best. I don't know myself to be honest. With you. I think um, just for training, really, so you can get your weight up a little bit. And obviously, when you do pull it off, it makes a world of difference. But that's that. Takes, takes me up to about 80 kilos, fighting weight. And uh, I don't know. We're trying. We're trying everything. Anything and everything to uh, to win these autumn series. So uh, hopefully they'll work. I still enjoy training, um, and even starting to enjoy weights now. I've never enjoyed weights in the in the past, really, so I'm taking a bit more serious these days. And I love it when we do stuff like the sprint training. And, uh, yeah, I'm still enjoying it. But it's enjoyment under the closest scrutiny, with every step monitored by the coaches and GPS technology. You find out tomorrow now how many kilometres you covered in training this afternoon. It can even measure how many times you sprinted in the session. So, for example, if you're running three kilometres, maybe one kilometre of that is actually flat out. So then if you're not working hard enough, they can give you a kick of the backside. I'm going home now, just putting my bag on the, in the car and I'm just heading off home. I've actually got to go to the dentist on the way home now. For these bad boys, I've, over the years, I've, I don't know how many teeth I've knocked out or had, had actually uh, had to put caps in, so uh, I'm actually going to sort my, my burnt-out fence uh, teeth today hopefully and 
these are temporaries at the moment, so I'm looking a little bit like Simon Cowell, but uh, I work in. So while Shane contemplates caps of a different kind, it's obvious even his car has the X factor. Well, as we've seen, the Scrum 5 cameras have had access all areas with the Wales squad. We saw what it was like to be Shane Williams for the day. What about the rest of the squad? Day one in the Wales camp, and before thoughts turn to rugby, the players find out who measures up off the field. Thirty-two waves. <laughs> Thirty-two waves. <laughs> Old banter for new faces like Scott Andrews to take in. And not just shirts to be worn, shirts to be signed. Hundreds. It's just nice to get away. Different environment, different faces. You've got to get your mind ticking a little bit because you've got to start working on how Wales play and not, not your region really. And for the cameras, poses to be struck. Dozens. Come on, Dan. So it hasn't been that intense so far, but it'll slowly pick up now. Like I say, tomorrow's going to be tough. It'll be a bob session, which is bone on bone, they call it, which is tackling. Go on, All right. All right. All right. Ryan's just making a guest appearance for the photograph. Day three, and the laughing and joking are over. Rugby heads on for a serious bone-on-bone -bone training session to prepare for the reality of things to come. You cannot have training sessions without any contact, because you're just not preparing the team properly for uh, a big contact sport, which is what it is. And there's always a risk of injuries. We always get somebody injured, and you just hope that they're just small bumps really. But this is replicating the breakdown and geared up to taking on one or two of the Australian loose forwards who will, who will cause a problem at that area. But even putting their bodies on the line time and again isn't enough. For bruised and aching limbs and tired minds, there's an extra, unexpected fitness session to round things off, to push everyone to their limits and give every last ounce. <laughs> We usually just do that as a fitness session because it's so tough. But for some reason they chucked it in the middle of a rugby session and uh, took it out to the boys a little bit. And after the taking out, the giving back to thousands of young fans who'd come to see a first open training session at the Millennium Stadium. At the home of Welsh Rugby, players and coach looking at home and relaxed. It's been a tough week um, with, with picking up, uh, unfortunately, three or four injuries and one injury during training, but um, you know, that's rugby, that's sport, and, and the guys have responded really well. I think they're, they're all pretty aware of the next 12 months, how important that is. You know, they've, they've got, they've, the guys in the squad at the moment have got a chance to impress in this campaign, in the Six Nations, and, and then building towards the World Cup. That World Cup in New Zealand next autumn may seem a long way away. The first step on that long journey will be taken here next weekend. <laughs>